Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my summer empties. If you don't know, if you've never watched one of these, basically I save my um, garbage, my beauty trash as I like to call it, everything I've used up over the last couple of months and review it, tell you whether I obviously liked it or not, whether I would buy it again, whether I just felt meh about it. What I love about filming and watching these videos is that the products are completely used up so I can give you like an actual review. I know how I feel about the products. I know if I'll be buying it again or not. So, well, I usually do, I should know. There are those products that you use up and it was just kind of like men, so you don't really have an opinion, but then I guess I wouldn't buy that again. So you have, okay. But I'm sweating, so if you see that, that's what's happening. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the box of goodies. I normally show the box beforehand. This is what it looks like. There's some overflowage, there's more than just this, but uh, yeah, I do these seasonally because I do accumulate quite a good amount of things. So let's start, start with makeup. I have a few makeup empties. We're starting off on a devastating note. This is my last bottle of the NYX BB Cream. So this is slash was my very favorite face makeup product. Here we go. So this is slash was my very favorite face like base makeup product. It was a BB cream, it had really good coverage. It felt good, it was my very favorite for like theme park days. I always brought it with me to Disney World or I wore it to Disneyland. If it's just a hot day, like this was just the best, they discontinued it. I am devastated if you have tried this and you've tried, I, I'm assuming another one from NYX has to be similar because they're the same brand. Um, So maybe I just need to, I know they have other like BB cream type things, CC creams, but I am I am so sad about this. I should see if I can find it like anywhere and just buy whatever I can. Um, but I've used this for years. I love this. this. I've gone through dozens of bottles, I feel like. And it's it's a sad day. Rest, rest well, old friend. I also used up my favorite like full, it's not full coverage. I'm wearing it today. I'd say it's a medium coverage foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I could not be a bigger fan of this. Um, I love the packaging. It has this cool paddle, so you just like slap it all over your face. It makes it super easy. I get really annoyed when it has a pump and I put it on the back of my hand and then sometimes I forget to wipe it off and then I have like crusty foundation on my hand, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I love that this has no hand mess. It just goes directly on my face. They have a non-dewy version of this and I tried it and I hated it. It. And I don't know what compelled me to try the dewy version, but I'm so glad I did because I love it so much and it is $6. It's certainly my favorite drugstore foundation I've ever tried. $6. I'm in the shade um, Shell Ivory, but I don't run out of foundation that often just because I have so many and I shuffle through them, but I've used this so much. Obviously I used it up and I've scraped as much out of this as I can. Definitely repurchased it. As I said, I'm wearing it again today. So I repurchased a new bottle. It is the best if you haven't for some reason tried it yet. I've also scraped up all I can of this. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I am in the shade Fair. This I think is meant for under eyes, but for some reason I prefer it on my spots. I think it's the shade that I purchased. This color is a great shade match for me on like my problem, like my zits. I did repurchase this. I used it again today. I believe this is $10, a great price for a great concealer. I've never like successfully tried it under my eyes because I do like a little bit of a brightening effect under there and this color just wasn't doing it for me, but I do use it on my problem areas. It covers so well, blends really nicely, and stays put. I do usually set where I put concealer, just because I usually have spots on my chin and that's a place that I like to be matte, so I set it with a powder, but um, just a lovely concealer. I definitely repurchased it. And then last for makeup, the packaging is completely, or the packaging, labeling, whatever, is completely worn off, but this is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I'm in the shade three. I have used this and repurchased this for years. It is my very favorite brow product. It just is so easy and quick. It has a teeny tiny spoolie that just makes it so easy to get in there and shape. I used to use pencils and then a tinted thing and then brow gel, and I just kind of eliminate a step with the pencil, which Sometimes I do still use one, but for every day, this is just so easy and quick. I haven't been wearing a ton of makeup recently just because we were sick and I just wasn't in the mood. It's also really hot, but on days that like I want to put, feel a little more put together, I will put on my gimme brow, some eyelashes, some, not, not false eyelashes, just some mascara, and maybe a little bit of cream blush and some highlight and no foundation or anything and just brows is an easy way to look pulled together. And this is a fantastic product. I talk about it so much. If you still haven't tried it, you have to. It's the best. Now let's go for skincare. Two things I always have in my empties are these two things. 
the simple kind of skin moisturizing facial wash and then along the same lines the simple compostable cleansing wipes i love that they're compostable that is so cool i don't use these a ton i find it much more effective to just jump in the shower and do like a triple double cleanse triple if i'm wearing makeup but um a double cleanse but the simple moisturizing facial wash gets off all of my makeup every single time i will sometimes use other things i was trying out um it's like a first aid beauty like um Cleansing oil doesn't do the trick. This does the trick. It is so good. I used this with my Clarisonic when I used to use it. I use it with my Foreo. I use it to take off makeup. I use it by itself. I just am never without this because it is just so versatile. Doesn't dry out my skin as it says, moisturizing facial wash. It feels really good. It's really gentle, doesn't break me out. And it's affordable. It's the best. I always give this short but long spiel when I talk about it. Um, but I do always have makeup wipes on hand. In fact, I'm out and I hate being out. I need to buy um, another pack. But just for traveling or just if I'm wearing, I haven't, I don't think I've worn my Tati Beauty glitter eyeshadow palette since having the baby. I think just because I know that like I'm going to get glitter all over him. <laughs> but if I have like a super glittery eye, I will take one of these and just kind of hold it and work the glitter off a little bit instead of like rubbing it into my eye. Again, for traveling, just for in a pinch, I like to have these on hand. So I will definitely repurchase this. I used up a face scrub. This is the Young Living Mint Satin Facial Scrub. I get a lot of questions if I still use Young Living because I don't talk about it quite as much. People get really upset when I talk about it. I am not trying to be like an MLM seller. That is not what I'm trying to do. I genuinely enjoy the Young Living products. That just is what it is. I use their oils and I've tried quite a few of their skincare products over the years. Some of them I do not like. This one is one I happen to love. It's probably like the scrub I repurchase most often because it's a good like grittiness for what I like, but it also has peppermint in it. So it's nice and tingly and cooling, and especially in the summer, it is fabulous. It is $16 for this smallish bottle, but it does last me quite a few months because I use it once or twice a week, but I do love it. All natural, no nasty ingredients, and it just feels good and sloughs off all my dead skin. So <laughs> I love it. Not trying to offend anyone with the Young Living situation, but I do love this face scrub. I used up some moisturizers, so I used up the Eva. I can never say this and it's not even that hard. Avalon Organics Vitamin C Renewal Cream. Nourish, Brighten, Renew. This is really nice. It's not as nice as my favorite one, which I'm going to talk about next, but it's also half the price. I have used this before. It is a lovely face cream. It is a more natural brand. I don't know if it's like completely clean, um, but I bought it at Sprouts and I just, I know that they only carry kind of like more natural skincare. This smells like orange, which is fantastic. I really used up every last bit <laughs> and I would totally repurchase this again. It's not my very favorite face cream, but it does hydrate and I have combo skin, but my skin can tend to get really dry. I get dry, dry patches really easily and it feels dry a lot of the time and this combats it all and I, I do really enjoy this. I just enjoy this a little bit more. This is my Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Face Butter. I actually used this up last night. Again, used up every last drop. I love this stuff so much. I, I talked about it in my last empties video which I can link up in the corner. Ever since COVID, I have terrible vocal fry. I cannot lift my voice out of... Mm, my voice teachers would be so upset with me. I love this so much, but it is $42 for this small jar. My issue is, is I need to spread out my use of it. I love this so much that I want to use it morning and night, but I should just reserve it for nighttime use, find something else for the morning. I do switch off every other night, usually with a face oil, which I use up that as well. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I just love this so much. I love it under makeup. I love it by itself. It's just my very favorite face cream I've used in a long time. So I'm definitely definitely gonna repurchase it. I was holding off for a while. I was like, I just couldn't justify spending the money, but my face is worth the money. So I'm going to spend it. I also have some Ulta points I can use towards it. So maybe I'll go today, me and my little truck on over to Ulta and we'll pick one up. And then, like I said, I at night like to alternate every other night between a face cream and then a face oil. And I happen to really like the Trader Joe's 100% organic argan oil. You can use this on your skin, your nails, your hair, your cuticles, your elbows, dry patches, anywhere. I just like that it's 100% organic. It's just a pure argan oil doesn't break me out. I, my skin loves oils. I love going to bed slathered in an oil and waking up with just like nice, plump, juicy skin. Even in the summer, I will use oils. Some days, if my face is really dry feeling, I will use this under makeup. I actually did that today and it looks 
just lovely. Well, I think it does. Definitely re mm. definitely will repurchase. I might already have a backup. I need to check. I have a couple body care favorites. So I, I've talked about this in a couple of videos. I've been having a bit of like more eczema than usual. I think it's due to a lot of factors and just... I was sitting on our old nasty carpet a lot in Milo's room playing with him in my shorts and it started to bother the back of my legs and it it just it became a whole thing. So I ended up going to the doctor and she uh, said to just start using just really sensitive Dove soap. Because when it was happening, I th I didn't know what it was. So I tried eliminating everything, it, even like my shower gels, even though they were shower gels I had used before. I thought maybe I got a bad batch or something. But she said, no, it's just really aggravated eczema from sitting on the floor with my son. Which, good news, I've talked about it in several videos, but we are getting our floors replaced. As you're seeing this, it's probably already done. We are a mess right now, moving everything from upstairs to the downstairs, which is partly why I'm filming this video, so I can just throw this away and not have to like carry my trash up and down the stairs. But anyway, I have, I've had this whole eczema journey and I've had eczema before that. I talk about it all the time in my elbow pits, the back of my legs. I have it bad on my hands and feet. But just since it's spread more on my body, I went to the doctor because I thought I was dying. She's like, no, it's just eczema. <laughs> and she put me on well, first she put me on a steroid cream and it was really bad. It has gotten significantly better. It's just more, and she told me it's gonna be more about upkeeping it and making sure the area is moisturized and using sensitive things. Um, so while it was really bad, she just had me use some Dove soap. She probably said the unscented Dove soap, but I went for the pink one because it's nostalgic. Oh my gosh, which by the way, I mentioned this in a favorites video and I said, why am I like doing this? And I said that my biggest Mandela effect was remembering it was a pink and white striped Dove bar of soap, but I could never find a picture, so I assumed I just made that up, but so many of you came through and sent me the photo. So it existed. I am not insane. So thank you if you were one of those people. But I love, I love the way Dove soap smells. Like a fresh box of Dove, like my goodness. Uh, this opening of a new box meant I used up my last Dove soap. So I, this is representing the soap that is gone. But I love Dove soap. This is the only bar of soap that doesn't dry me out. I've even tried like the Lush soaps, which are supposed to be like super moisturizing. And I just, you know the feeling when you rinse it off with the water and then you're, it just is terrible. So this does not do that. It feels moisturizing. The pink one is like the deep moisture one. I don't, it doesn't like necessarily leave me feeling like I don't need lotion but it certainly doesn't dry me out and it doesn't irritate my skin and it smells good. I love it. Since my skin has gotten better though, I did finish up this. This is the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Bath and Shower Gel. My two scents, favorite scents in this are the Honey Mango and the Midnight Tuberose. I still cannot stomach the scent of the Honey Mango because it is what I was using when I first started feeling sick in my first trimester. Most things have come back and I'm able to smell them without feeling nauseous or just bothered by them, but that I haven't tried it in a couple of months, but that is one of the one, even like look, thinking of looking at the bottle, it just makes me feel a little queasy. But happily, this one, which I did use in pregnancy just a little later on, I can stomach. And so I picked up another one. This one and the Honey Mango are made for dry skin, which is what I have. And this, these do have fragrance in them. They're not completely clean, but they are cleaner than other things. They smell so good. I love how big they are with the big pump. And again, it doesn't dry out my skin. I like their scents. Used these for years. I love them. Speaking of eczema, one of my favorite things to use on it is the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. It literally got rid of my elbow pit eczema and kept it away for years. My doctor told me to use its Oh no, I put it away. It's right there. It's a Eucerin lotion that's on this counter. I'll just read it to you. A Eucerin Advanced Repair Lotion. I've been using that on my eczema spots and it does work really, really nicely, but I still love this. If you have sensitive skin and eczema, give this a try. It is a great cream. It is expensive for this tub and if you're using it on your whole body daily, you will go through it quite quickly. But if you just maybe use it on your sensitive areas or where you get eczema or dry patches, you will love this. It is fantastic. There's no scent or anything. They do have scents, but this is just the normal one. I will always, always have this nearby. I do have one hair empty. We could do that. It is the Matrix Biolage Scalp Sink Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. I love this stuff. In fact, I don't have it right now because my sister takes me to Cosmoprof because she has a cosmetology license and you can get things half off there. It's fantastic. She doesn't practice cosmetology anymore, but worth it for the discount for me. <laughs> but the last time she took me, they didn't have this, so I don't have it right now. I feel like I haven't been loving the way my hair has been looking, but I also was like, oh, I'm not using my favorite shampoo. I've just been using some 
I think it's like Pantene stuff that Bradley has in there. Um, so I need to get this again, but I do have a dry scalp. I do have dandruff. This totally helps keep it under control. Makes my scalp just feel really clean and um, just this, uh, just as far as scalp care and how my scalp feels. Cause as I mentioned in my favorites video, I said that I've trained my hair to only need to be washed once a week, which I'm sorry if that grosses you out. I do use dry shampoo in the middle of the week, but um, just as far as my scalp and how it feels, this just gives me the best result and I need it again. It is the best. I forgot this in the body care category, but I guess it would go with that. But this is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Sunscreen SPF 50. We buy this at Costco. I think we tried the Alba Botanica one this time around, which again, these aren't totally clean, but they are cleaner for, you know, being an aerosol can of sunscreen. If you guys have a completely clean sunscreen recommendation, let me know. We use the Baby Ganics Organics one on Milo, and I love that one for him. But for me and Bradley, I would like, you know, as clean as possible, but we do really like this. We go swimming at my brother's house a lot, and my sister obviously joins us, and she has her different spray on sunscreen. And um, I actually went yesterday, and I forgot my sunscreen, and so she sprayed me with hers. It literally just smells more toxic. Like, I don't know how to describe it. I said, we gotta get you something cleaner because this, I just, we, we, we gotta do better. This says it's reef friendly, which is awesome, but I really enjoy this. I never get burnt when I wear it, when I keep up on applying it. Yeah. I would, I would repurchase if we saw it again at Costco. I have a couple baby favorites. Well, this is technically not just for babies, but this is the Honest Company Shampoo and Body Wash in the Truly Calming Scent. We're not even using it for shampoo or body wash right now. We're using it for bubbles. It makes the greatest bubbles and you just need the littlest bit. I just put the tiniest drop in Milo's bath and he has some nice bubbles. It smells really good. You can obviously also, we have used it as shampoo and body wash. I love it across the board. They actually, this is a Costco bottle. Costco just had it again and it was on sale. All right, I've bought the normal bottle. I think I bought it at Vons because I was in a pinch and things are kind of like more expensive at Vons than Target, but I think it was $10 for a smaller bottle of this. At Costco, you get two bottles this big with a pump for $15, but they were on sale for 12. So we bought two of them. So we have four backups. We love this stuff. It is tear free. I was using some other stuff that I loved or I thought I loved, but then I realized it wasn't tear free once Milo got it in his eyes and started screaming. So I put it in my eyes and I started screaming. I didn't actually, <laughs> but you get it. This is tear free. I tested it on my eyes. It does not irritate them. It has a nice lavender scent and it is just beautiful. And the Honest Company is clean. So that's cool too. No fragrance, which is awesome. This does have fragrance in it, but they're sneaky about it. But I just love this stuff. It's the Burt's Bees Baby Nourishing Lotion. It smells so good. And for the rest of my life when I smell this, even when Milo's all grown up and I see this in Target or somewhere, I will unscrew it, take a sniff and probably start sobbing because it just is always gonna remind me of the sweet newborn and baby days. And I did repurchase this. He still uses it every single day. It just smells so good. And all of the Burt's Bees Baby, they also have a combo shower gel shampoo, bubble bath. They have like a multi-use like balm that I also use on him on his eczema. It all smells like this and it just smells so good. I don't even know what it smells like. It just smells like a sweet baby and I, Oh, just brings back memories. My son just turned one, so I'm feeling a little emosh. And then last for babies, another Young Living product. I used up the Young Living Seedlings baby oil. So Seedlings is their like kids line, safe products formulated with essential oils instead of like synthetic fragrances and all the nasty crap. It's like completely clean, non-toxic stuff for your kids, which is awesome. The baby line is like already diluted in the right amount. So you could just put it directly on your baby. We use this simply for calming him down at night. I put a little bit on his chest and a little bit on the bottom of his feet. We honestly used this a lot more when he was littler, but now um, it's just kind of like an every once in a while kind of thing, but it does smell really nice and calming. He seems to like it. I'll put some on his chest and whatever's left, I'll rub on my hands and put it on my chest and neck. And for some reason, me putting it on me always makes him smile and it's a part of the bedtime routine I look forward to. But I did repurchase this. I love it. It is fantastic. And you could just use this on yourself if you don't have a kid. <laughs> now I have some home empties. I used up a big old laundry detergent. We love this. This is the seventh generation fresh citrus scent, but there is no fragrance in it. It's relatively clean. We use this on all of of our laundry, our clothes, Milo's clothes, his bedding, all everything in the house. We don't have separate things. That's a nice light citrus scent from essential oils, not from synthetic fragrances, which is awesome. And it just does a good job. Sometimes we order these from Grove Collaborative or we just pick them up at Target. They're pretty accessible. I think there's a lavender one and then there's just like a completely unscented one, but I really like the fresh citrus scent because it smells like the Young Living Thieves soap, which I do love that as well. This is just kind of more accessible and cheaper and easier. I also, oh my gosh, I've been seeing for 
years this like stain stick DIY and I have the jumbo rollers and I <laughs> we went out to eat at my favorite spaghetti place and I got spaghetti all over my pink, my favorite pink dress. And I was like, well, shoot. And so I made the roller and it was actually several days later that I put it on the stain and it totally removed it, the stains out of my pink dress. I didn't even tell you what the recipe was. It's just half your laundry detergent. It's supposed to be half of the Thieves laundry detergent, but I used this and then the rest of the roller, half um, Thieves cleaner concentrate, and you just roll it on the stain. I've used it several times on my clothes, Milo's clothes, and it does actually help. So that's a fun little trick if you're into oils and you wanted to try that. If you have the Thieves cleaner concentrate, who knew? I used up some hand soaps. I used, we used up two. I was so into this. This is my first year trying this. I don't know if it's new this year, I think this was for spring. It's the Mrs. Myers, which is my favorite hand soap. Not non-toxic, it does. Mrs. Myers is a bit of a green washer. They do still use kind of crappy stuff, but they just make it look like it's natural. It is better than other things, but it is not non-toxic. But it's a really nice hand soap that doesn't dry out my hands. I wash my hands a lot now with a baby and you know COVID and all that. But this is the Daisy scent. It was limited edition for spring. I loved it. We obviously bought two after we enjoyed the first one so much. And it just smells like, I don't, it just smells sunny is what I want to say, like floral, a nice spring summer day. And we obviously liked it, we used up too. My very favorite spring release though is the Mrs. Meyers Rose Scent Hand Soap. I love this, but I did fully use this up and I totally love the rose scent. It is so nice. It smells like real roses. It doesn't smell like an artificial rose scent. It is gorge. And then I did use up a couple of oils. I mentioned, I think it was in my favorites video because I have been getting a lot of questions if I, Oh, I forgot to put in earrings. I hate when I do that. I have been getting some questions recently if I still use Young Living and I mentioned that in my favorites video. And yes, I fell out of the um, like habit of using them in pregnancy just because scents were bothering me so much. And I slowly am starting to like work them back in. Pine is something we never stopped using though because we use pine in our Thieves cleaner. We use the Thieves cleaner concentrate from, from Young Living. It's just like a DIY thing you make where you use a capful of the cleaner, you fill the rest up with water, and then we add 10 drops of pine and 10 drops of citrus fresh, and it just is the best cleaner. So um, we go through a lot of pine, so that is why we used that up. And then I love this stuff and I was missing it so much, I just got in another order and got more of it. This is the Young Living Seedlings Calm. It is that blend that they use for all of their baby stuff, but it's just the essential oil blend. I use this on his laundry. I put a few drops on his dryer balls, which like I said, I was out of this for a little bit. So his laundry was just like not smelling like anything. And over the weekend I did his laundry and added this and it just smells so nice and fresh and relaxing and perfect for a baby. So I love this stuff. Um, I don't diffuse a lot. I've never really diffused in his room. I don't know, just cause I, I don't, I, you know, <laughs> I'm nervous about everything with the baby. But now that he's one, I think I will try it. I think he will enjoy it while he's sleeping. I mean, he's around it downstairs when I diffuse it down there. I just haven't like diffused oil while he's sleeping, but this would be a great one to do. But for now, mostly I just use it in his laundry and it is perfect. But okay, that is it. We have emptied the empties bin. But yeah guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, I have been doing these videos for years, like literally like eight years. I can link my playlist up above if you are just wanting to binge empties videos. I do these seasonally, so I will see you again with a fall empties. Yay fall. I will have all the products down below this. I liked everything, didn't I? Pretty much. That's boring. But I will have everything listed down below that I do like, that I would repurchase if you want to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. I will see you very soon. If you're not subscribed already, I would love it if you did. I will have my little face you can click and some more videos you might enjoy or maybe some videos that you missed. Thank you again for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you very soon in a new video. Bye.